What's up, y'all? Jesse here, and I got your April newsletter. I know I'm a little bit behind working on it. Got a lot of stuff in the pipeline. Been having fun coming up with some new adjustments. First thing I want to do is remind you that I'm going to be shifting the newsletter email list to my website because that website continues to evolve and all the fancy, magical, wonderful things are directly coming out of there and it saves me a ton of work. And so I got a double banger for you. First banger is the Emotional Bungee Jumpers webinar. I've been talking about it, I've been posting about it, and it's kind of hard to describe the experience. So we decided to put together a webinar with Armando 2.0, Adam Hoots, Jennifer Lacey, and myself to demonstrate what that thing is. And so hit the link down there, sign up for the webinar, and as you're signing up for the webinar, I think there's a little button that says like subscribe to the email list, hit that bad boy and that'll automatically transfer you over. And if you choose not to do that, completely understand and support your decision. Just know that come June, this email, like whoever doesn't sign up for the list will not be bothered. So maybe it's a good escape. And you don't have to wait for the webinar to get some more details about what Emotional Bungee Jumpers is. There are two attachments in the email. They look very similar, but there's some nuanced differences and the intent, it, it's a flyer, right? So we can share what the thing is and spread the impact uh, that we're having through emotional bungee jumpers. So check them out and do me a favor, go to the comments and vote V1 or V2, whichever one lands best with you. That'll help inform me of which one to continue going forward with. Now I'm gonna talk about highlights. I had a super cool experience being interviewed on Off The Hook with Erica and Luke. Their podcast, we had a good time. We were talking about my favorite subject in high school. Hit the link, give them a follow. They put out some really good content. I also got to hang out in Vegas with Miss Jennifer Lacey at the AGC National Conference where we got to present together. It was like the very first time she and I presented to an audience together, both of us up on stage. I behaved myself mostly, and most importantly, was able to connect with the the whole bunch of really thoughtful and forward thinking leaders. And it was pretty inspiring to know that so many people really are interested in finding their way to have a more human or provide a more human experience out there in the field. And then to cap it all off at the very end of March, I was in Corpus Christi with my friend, Miss Stephanie Hasdachek, who started uh, This One's For The Gals. And I was present at their inaugural conference which was amazing they had a whole lineup of powerful impactful women they had an audience filled with young ladies that had direct access to these professionals these experts these super motivational people so that they can make that connection of what is possible for them so y'all need to hit up this one's for the gals give them some support because word is they be coming to san antonio baby we're gonna have this one's for the gals in the deuce dime so keep an eye out for that We've got a few announcements you may have seen this already I just started maybe restarted a blog it's the learnings and missteps blog it's gonna be the origin story and kind of the timeline from learnings and missteps no bs with jen and jess lean in love emotional bungee jumpers and the soon to be released becoming the promise you're intended to be. And all of those things are super connected, super meaningful to me. They've become a huge part of my life, just like you have. Um, so hit up the blog, check it out. Let me know what you think. Like for real, for real, I'm cheating because like the editing, I, the, the, the thing, the website does a lot of the editing for me, meaning grammar and spelling and stuff. And I, I need that kind of help. Speaking of editing, the final draft is gonna hit at the end of the month. I'm so excited because once that draft hits, that kind of triggers the next step, which is me recording the audio version of the book. Which book? Becoming the Promise You're Intended to Be. Target release date is June 23rd. Gonna plan a party, gonna have a whole bunch of good stuff going on. If you're available and interested in being in San Antonio and being at the party, hit me up, leave a comment, hit a, do us a little party hat down in the comments because it's really, really, <laughs> there's a lot behind the book. Um, June of 2023, I will, provided I stay on the path, I will be celebrating seven years of sobriety. And so releasing the book on the, in that time frame is really meaningful and important to me. And my sobriety doesn't happen by accident. 
it happens because of immense support from an awesome community. So I'm grateful to y'all for all the support that you've afforded me thus far. And we're gonna wrap it up with resources. I wanna connect you with my friend, Will Sullivan. You may have seen him, he's mostly on the LinkedIn. I'm gonna put a link to his website so you can access all his stuff. Uh, he's put together this movement of aspiring better humans. Uh, every Wednesday, he's got a live stream or a live audio event. Nothing but positivity, nothing but human focus. I appreciate the man tremendously. I think he's back from, from Brazil. Uh, so hit him up, follow him, support him, share his stuff because man, I'm telling you, it will bring a smile to your day. And sometimes just that one smile is enough to keep us going, right? And then I want you also to hit up Mr. Tim Ho, T-I-M-H-O-H. He just launched the Real Life Lean newsletter and yes, yes, I'm a lean nerd, and, and yes, there's probably something that people can argue and challenge. But I'm gonna tell you, this newsletter, he does a phenomenal job of applying these lean, highfalutin concepts to his own personal life, his personal day, like day-to-day -day things. And it really helps make the connection between the concept and the practical application beyond like making other people be lean, he is demonstrating his own personal practice of it, which I think is the ultimate. So you gotta hit him up. Folks, I appreciate y'all very much. If you've listened all the way to the end, here is a big gigantic hug for you. Love you very much, be cool, and we'll talk at you next time. Peace!